Hey everyone, Danielle here. I'm doing a solo playthrough of For Northwood, a solo trick-taking game by Will Sue. Um, this is the print and play version, so um, the components here probably won't look amazing, but I'll be able to still play the game with no problem. Alright, let's get the cards out. So there's 32 cards that basically have just a number and a suit. So I'll grab those. And then there are 24 character cards, which are these. So these are the character cards. And they all have abilities. And there are 24 of them, and 12 of them have this uh, crown symbol on the bottom right which means um, that they're likely harder so they don't recommend that you play with them in your first game um, so I guess I'll go ahead and, and uh, leave them in just for the sake of playing although it might, might make this game super short we'll see so I'm actually just gonna shuffle these up all right and then we have our cards and again, these are eight numbers of four different suits. So we have the eye, the flower, the leaf, and the uh, paw, I guess. I forget what, what that's called. Let's shuffle those up as well. Okay. Then we have here, kind of where the bird will be traveling. So I'm going to put that right here for now. And then we have eight of these cards that go from zero to seven and they each have stars associated with them and throughout the game you're going to want to um, try to win over the friendship I guess of the thief that is on each of these locations so I would say these are locations and I'll be placing characters on there at some point. Alright. And then this is just the marker as to where I will be placing my location. Let me just turn off this overhead light, which I think is creating some glare. Yes, much better. Okay. So, I'm going to start the game off by... Uh, so we'll set up the game to put the characters on top of each of these eight loca locations and then I'll get four starting allies which I'll place on the bottom left here. So let's see. So the way you do it is you actually get um, the first four of each. The first of each suit will be your ally. So I'll have the Prince of Claws. This will go here. And the second and third will end up filling up this top row. We have the King of Eyes as an ally, Jack of Claws, Baron of Eyes, Lady of Leaves, Lady of Flowers. So these are my four allies and I can pull them down a little bit more actually. I'm going to need more space. And then we'll keep filling this up, I guess. Okay, so the fourth claw will actually just be out of the game. So we're actually looking for a flower. And here we go. We got it. Alright. So the rest are... There should be 12 left, and they are just going to be just left out of the game. And that really helps with the, the replayability of the game. Alright, so I think we're pretty much situated. Let me see if there's any adjustments to be made here. Okay. Um, and then I've shuffled these 32 cards. Now I will draw my eight starting hand cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the goal of this game is to get as many stars as you can. 
again, each of these locations have stars associated with them. And if you're able to win over any of these characters, you'll get those points. The game will end when you visited all eight locations. Um, that doesn't mean that you have to, you know, gain each of these characters' favor, but um, you would have visited eight by the end of the game. So, just to talk about some of the allies, I have the Prince of Claws, which says draw cards one at a time until you draw a card of the ruler's suit or you decide to stop. You have King of Eyes, name any suit, draw two cards, then discard all cards of that suit in your hand. Lady of Leaves, draw a card, unexhaust another exhausted ally. And that means um, basically when you use one of these allies, you get to use one each um, kind of turn, you'll be able to unexhaust one that's already been used because you have to exhaust one when you use it. We have Lady of Flowers, discard a card with value equal to the number of cards in your hand. All right. So let's see what's in my hand. Um, okay. So I will go into how to play now, but I've sorted it by suit and uh, by number as well. And basically, you get to decide where you want to visit based off of the hand of cards you've gotten. The idea is that you want to be able to win the favor of the character um, by winning a trick. And a trick is really just, it's hard to explain. I don't play trick taking games often, but um, a card will present itself as a statement card. And when it does, you have to play a card from your hand. And depending on the card that you play from your hand, you either win that trick or you lose the trick. So in this instance, um, I'll go ahead and continue with my game here. And I'm going to choose to, yeah, I'll attempt to try to win over this thief, Lady of Eyes. And that means I'll need to win exactly six tricks from the cards in my hand or utilizing one of the allies. So you can use your ally before you draw and flip over the statement card. So every time, every turn, you get to flip over a statement card, but before you do so, you can use an ally, one that's not already exhausted. So I've chosen to visit this location, Lady of Eyes, let's see, it has the eye symbol. So that suit is going to be considered the trump suit, meaning it will um, be able to score or win if I can't place a card. And that will make sense in a second. So let's flip over the statement card. This is a three of flowers in my hand. The I Because it's a flowers and I have flowers in my hand, I have to place the flower card. And I only score if the card I place is higher than the value of the card that is shown here. So this is a three of flowers. I have to place a flower card. I have a five of flowers and I have to ask myself, is it higher than the three? It is. So I'll put it here to the left side of this deck here, just to signal the ones that have been successful and I can score. So I'm going to place the five here because it is a flower and is higher than the three. That is the first trick. The second one, I get to flip this over, but before that I can consider using one of my allies. You can only use one um, per trick. I'm not going to use any right now. I'm just going to flip over the next statement card. This is a four of paws. I do have Paul cards, so I have to place one of them. So I have to decide between this five or the three. In this instance, I still want to win this trick because I need a total of six wins. So I'm going to have to place this five because if I place the three, that's less than four. So I won't be able to win with that trick. So I'll place the five into my score pile. So now I've got two. 
Now, before I flip the statement card over, I have to decide if I want to use an ally. I decide not to. I'll continue flipping. So four flowers, let's see. So four flowers means I have to place a four flowers, but I don't have any, and that's okay. So in this case, I could place a trump card. And that trump card will be any card that matches the ruler's suit. So the ruler is the person that you're visiting, the fief that you're visiting. So it matches the land of I the Lady of Eyes suit. So I can play one of these suits. And um, I will just place the four here because any suit will win. Um, I'm sorry, any value of that suit will win the trick. Um, and let me just double check the rule book here. Yep, I explained that right. All right, so I've won that. I get to decide if I want to use an ally. I think I'm in good shape. I have three so far. I need three more. Let's flip the statement. It's a seven of flowers. So now I'm in a predicament. I definitely won't be able to score anything um, unless I play the trump card. So to play the trump card, I'm going to play a five of eyes. It does not have to be higher than the seven. It just has to match the, the, the suit of the ruler. And it does, so it wins. So I have one, two, three, four. I need two more. At this point, I'm still confident I can get two more. So let's draw the next statement card. Six, six, six flowers. I'm gonna play this trump card. It would have won regardless of it being higher than the six because it matches the um, suit of the ruler. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I just need to win one more trick. So let's flip. I have the seven of clubs. I have to use this card because it's the only one that matches this suit and I will lose this trick because it's less than seven. I just place it into this pile. I'll go ahead and flip. It's another six. So right now I am forced to just place the lower one because I want to make sure I have a high enough card to win a trick that is hopefully going to be a leaf. So I don't have a suit that matches this. I have to play any card from my hand. I'll choose to play this one and lose the trick. And in this case, I'm going to just evaluate my allies again to see if anything will confirm my final card will win. Yeah, I don't think so. I think... Hmm. I, you know, I think I might use Prince of Claws. It says, draw cards one at a time until you draw a card of the ruler's suit or you decide to stop. So I could draw as long as I can or until I draw an eye. So I think I will. I think I'll stop here because I don't want to have too many cards in my hand. That forces me to go over six six uh, cards in the score pile. Um, so let's just uh, exhaust that to signal that we've used it and then draw the statement card. So three of eyes. Can't place anything um, to win this trick right now, unfortunately. So I'll just place the lowest card I have. Um, go ahead and flip the next statement card. I won't be able to win this trick either. So I have to place, if so, again, the first thing you ask yourself, do I have a card with this suit? I do. And then do I have a card of that suit that I want to place to win? I can't because they're both lower than eight. I'm going to choose the lower of the two because the seven's going to hopefully get me a win um, in the coming turns. So let's keep going. I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna draw the statement card. I'm gonna be forced to place this here because I need this seven to win the trick. And then now I really want to evaluate my other things. I'm gonna use Lady of Leaves, draw a card, unexhaust another exhausted ally. So I'll exhaust this, and draw a card, and then I'll unexhaust this. That, that means I could use Prince of Claws again. Alright. So with that, I draw the next statement card. 
and I will win this trick and it will be the sixth trick to win. So I have to ask myself, do I have cards that match this suit? I do, it's a seven. And I have to place it actually, I have to play it. And it happens to be higher than the two, so I get to score. So now I have exactly six scored here. If I get seven or eight or nine more, I can't win this win this thief over. I have to have exactly six in this pile. So that means I need this to be in this discard pile. I need it to lose the next trick. Let's flip this over. And I will lose the trick because I actually don't have a suit that matches this and I don't have the trump, trump suit either. So I'm forced to just discard this card. And I have one over this thief right here. So I need a six to win. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, which is perfect. So now in that case, I get to pull this down. And what's neat is once you win over a character, a thief, you get to place this on top one of your allies before the next round starts. You get to decide this. You get to decide if you wanna use this instead of any of these allies. And then after that round, you get to remove it from the game. So you get to use these uh, thieves as your allies in future rounds, which is pretty neat. All right, so now we set up for the next round. We unexhaust everything. We reshuffle all these numbered suit cards. All right, I'll draw myself eight cards. Okay. And then I have to decide if I'm going to utilize this Lady of Eyes in place of one of these allies. And I think I'll leave it, leave Lady of Eyes here. Let's look at what I have in my hand. Let's get them organized so I could better make my decisions later. Okay. So this is my hand. And seeing this hand, I have to see what I want to do, where I want to go. And I think with this, I'm going to go to a claw. Actually, no, not a claw. Um, hmm. You know, Baron of Eyes. I think I'll go here to this location. So that means I need to win exactly two tricks and lose everything else. So two cards in my hand, I will want to win. And the other two, I will want to lose. I'm sorry, the other six I would want to lose. Um, I'm not going to use any allies just yet. Let's draw the statement card. Two of flowers. Do I have flowers? I do. I have to place it. And it will win the trick because it's higher than the two. So I've already got one out of the two uh, tricks to win. I will draw the next statement card. So five of leaf. I have to place one of these leaf cards. I'll place this one to lose the trick because I don't want to risk getting more than two tricks by the end of this this round. I'll draw the next statement card, four flowers. I don't have any four flowers, but do I have a trump card? I do. So I will place the, the one. Um, you know what? I'll place the two. And I have to win it because it is a trump card. So now I have scored two. I don't want to score any more which is going to be difficult. So let's see if there's anything with the allies I can do. Um, it says, Lady of Flowers, discard a card with value equal to the number of cards in your hand. I have five. I don't have a card with a value of five. Um, it says, King of Eyes, name any suit, draw two cards, then discard all cards of that suit in your hand. I think I'll go ahead and do that. I'll draw two cards. I'm going to name claws and draw two cards. One, two, and I'll discard all three claws. So that helped, you know, decrease the hand size, which hopefully helps in me not winning any more tricks. So I can't do anything else because you're going to only use one ally per um, turn. So I'm going to draw the next statement card. I will place the four because that matches the suit. I could have placed the one, but, um, I'd rather place the four in this case because I definitely don't want to keep that in my hand to possibly win a trick later. I'll draw another one. 
so two of clubs, um, two of claws. And with that, I'm going to just place any card at this point. Um, although I do have this eyes and I think I have to place it because it's a trump card. So no, I'm not forced actually to place a trump card. That's only if I want. So I'm not going to place a trump card. I'm going to place a six of leaf and forcefully lose that trick. All right, next, a four of leaf. I'll place this three right here. And I will, let's see, play Lady of Flowers, discard a card with value equal to the number of cards in your hand. I have one, I have a card with the value of one, so I'll use it to discard this card. And I have exactly now zero cards in my hand, which means I look at the score pile, does it match this? And it does, which means I actually win the favor of this Baron of Eyes. So now... We start refreshing everything and we'll shuffle. Let's draw eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And with that, um, I'm going to stop talking through every single thought process and just play the rest of the game out. And um, I hope you enjoy. Let's see here. Okay. Mm, I think I'll visit. Yeah, I'll visit the, visit the the Baron of Leaves. We have a good chance, I think, of getting five. Let's see how that goes. Do I want to replace any of my allies? Um. Mm -mm. No, I think I'll leave them as is. Uh, five of eyes. Do I have eyes? I do. Let's win that. Statement. Just a three of eyes. I have four of eyes. Let's win that. Looking good so far. I have seven of flowers. I do not have anything higher, so I will lose that. The seven of claws. I will lose that. The two of eyes, I will lose that unless I play a trump card, and I will. I'll play a trump card because it matches that. I'll play another trump card. I have one, two, three, four. I need one more win. I don't have the win. I'm gonna place this. Do I want to play an ally here? I think I will. I'm going to play. Um, a king of eyes name any suit draw two cards and discard all cards of that suit in your hand i'm going to name eyes one two no eyes to dis discard all right draw the next statement card one of eyes i don't have anything i could place there but i have a trump so i'll place this and i have five scored which means i need to make sure i discard these discard it and I discard it. Perfect. All right, so we got this Baron of Leaves. Exactly five tricks scored. All right. Okay, I refresh, shuffled, and I'm gonna draw my eight cards. And we have one, two, three, four, five locations left. Ooh, a lot of eyes. I think I can try for... Hmm. Well, maybe. I don't think I can actually win over the Baron of Flowers. I only have two flowers here. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll try for the Baron of Claws, since I don't... I barely have any claws. And I'll need to discard a lot. So let's try. Let's try the Baron of Claws. Okay, is there any ally I want to place here? Um, hmm. You know what? I'll put the Lady of Eyes because it, it helps me discard. Um, and put this here. So I won't be using Lady of Leaves. Alright, let's see. Statement card. Ooh. 
Do I have to place this? Gosh, that's terrible. Hmm. I have to place the five, which makes me win that trick, unfortunately, against my well. <laughs> and I've already got more than zero, so I've lost this one. That's that. I won't be able to gain it. That's the end of that round. That was quick. This Lady of Eyes gets uh, placed out of play. Next round. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gosh, that was a very quick round. Um, there's some flowers, claws, and leaf. Um, let's go for the jack of flowers. I have three flowers I could trump, so I think that's good. Um, let's see, do I want to replace any allies with these? Hmm, maybe... Hmm, I think I like these, actually, so let's stick with it. I'll draw the statement card. Alright, I have to discard that. So eight, I have to discard that. Four of eyes, I could play a trump card and win. So three of eyes, play a trump card and win. Need two more now to win. Five, I'll play on my trump card to win that. Three. Now I need one more to win. Six, I can't place anything. I'll place the lower card. One, I can't place anything. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do something else here. Um, I need to win one more. Uh, I'll do King of Eyes. Name any suit, draw two cards, then discard all cards of that suit in your hand. And I'm going to name Eyes. One, two. So I don't have to discard anything. I draw the statement card. I place this and I win. So now I have four. I have to try to discard the four and the five here. Um, let's see. Is there anything that will help me discard? Nope. Nope. So keep going. Place this. Statement card. There we go. All right. So we won over the Jack of Flowers with exactly four tricks won. Okay, next round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's refresh this. Okay. All right, so we got three locations, the Baron of Flowers, the Queen of Leaves, and Jack of Claws to um, try to win over. Ooh, lots of claws here, which is not good. Um, is there anything that could help me? Yeah, I'm going to use the Jack of Flowers and put it on top of the Lady of Leaves. So we'll do that. And we're going to visit the Jack of Claws. And I only need to win one trick, okay? So that's going to be interesting. I'm going to actually automatically just do um, the Jack of Flowers right off the bat. Discard all cards that match the current ruler suit, and it is Claws. So I get to discard these four cards right away, which will help. Now I get to draw the Statement card, Four of Leaves. Ooh. I have to play the seven of leaves and that lets me win. So that's my trick that I won already. Not great. Um, I have three cards in my hand. I will play Lady of Flowers before I draw the next statement card. Discard a card with value equal to the number of cards in your hand, which is three. I'll discard this three. Now I'll draw the statement card. So one of leaf, which is good. I have to discard this. You know what? I'll discard the eight to lose the trick. Draw this. Discard this. Perfect. Got one trick that I won, which means I won over Jack of Claws. All right, next round. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have two locations left. We have the Baron of Flowers and the Queen of Leaves to explore. Okay. Between those two, let's see. Hmm, these are pretty high numbers. I don't know. Um, I guess the Baron of Flowers would be smart here. Um, do I want to use any of these? Oh, Jack of Claws is always good in case I need more. So I think I will go ahead and do that. I'll place on top of Lady of Flowers since I likely won't want to discard too many cards. All right. Statement. Six of Clubs. Um, I'm going to win that by placing the seven of uh, it's claws. I think it's clubs because of the, the way it looks. Okay, next. Ooh, I'll win that one. Ooh, winning that one. Okay, got that. 
got that one. How many do I have right so far? One, two, three, four, five. I need two more. Got it. I got it. Now I want to try to discard this card here. Um, which none of these help me discard. Isn't that sad? Lady of Flowers. No, it wouldn't have helped. Oh, man. Um, Alright, I'm going to have to hope for the best and hope I don't win this trick. <laughs> oh, man. I'm forced to win it because it, it matches the suit and it's higher. Let me recount this. Maybe I miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Well, I lost that one. Which is unfortunate. Alright. So, see how this game ends. Alright, I refreshed and I can only go to Queen of Leaves. That's the last and final location of the game. And it's going to be interesting. Okay, so the trump suit will be leaves, leaves, and I think I can probably do it. I can only win three tricks though, so I have to make sure I can do that. Um, I'm going to use Baron of Eyes and place that on top of my King of Eyes. Alright, and I'll draw the statement for... I will win that. Eight. I will lose it. Eight. <laughs> I'm gonna lose that. I'll place the one there. Six. I'll win that. That's two. Three of clubs. Ooh, I'm gonna win that. So I have to somehow discard these. Um. And I'm going to use Lady of Flowers, discard a card with value equal to the number of cards in your hand. I have three, so I'll discard this three. Draw the next statement card. I'll place this. Draw this, and I lose that. So perfect. I have three cards, and that's all I need in here for Queen of Leaves. All right, so that is the end of the game. And in terms of scoring, you look at all the stars that you've, you've gotten. So I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I got 12. Um, and if you flip this over, if you did easy, medium, or hard, these would be your goal. So I didn't place at all. I only got 12 stars. Um, but that is the highest I've gotten so far. So I'm pretty happy with it. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this solo playthrough uh, for Northwood. Um, again, this was my PNP. The cards don't look great. They're not cut great, but they are perfectly fine for me to play and get a game of um but yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys around thanks